Hi Internet, I'm Tango and these are Tango's Takes. And the take for today, uh, where are we now? Wednesday, August 25th, 2021 is Don't Over Specialize. It's Guild Wars 2 week and yes, this is directly related. So we enjoy this cutscene between Ritlock and one of my elementalists, Mercury. Let's talk about what I mean. One of the goals when Guild Wars 2 launched that the developers had was to break the traditional MMORPG trinity. That is, the healer, supporter, the tank, and the DPS. One of the ways they did this in Guild Wars 2 is by making it so that no individual class of the original eight classes, sorry, professions, was particularly good or a lot better at any one of those without also being good at something else. Your guardian was very good at passive healing and could tank well and DPS. Elementalists like Mercury here could rotate. They were generally considered best for DPS, but they could produce a good outpouring of healing in a pinch. Or they could clear conditions. They could do a lot of support stuff. Thieves were good, really good at DPS, but could also do some amazingly good, again, support kind of things, providing conditions or helping the party stealth. Each of the professions in Guild Wars 2 is generally good at two things, sometimes three things. And when you get into not necessarily the core game content, but some of the extra content, the raids, the strikes, big special events, it's important that your party know what it's good at and how to be the best at it as possible in some cases. What's this mean? Uh, this means in certain strikes that you want characters that can apply quickness to your party and cleanse conditions passively. You want other characters that are going to be producing a lot of healing, both passively and actively, but can also maybe rotate out to provide boons to the party, other boons to the party. Your DPS heavy classes often will provide additional conditions onto the enemy, and there's going to be other classes that do a phenomenal job of taking full advantage of those conditions that you've applied. You even often need someone to tank. And really, those tanks are generally providing support buffs to other people. By not over-specializing and instead providing a balance between the different abilities of the characters, letting them focus on two or three things instead of over consume, overdoing one thing, you get a better, more enjoyable play experience, in my, in my personal opinion. So, don't over-specialize in your real life. What happens when that specialization is no longer needed? Do you know how to do anything else? Or are you going to have to lose a lot of what you've gained in terms of seniority and pay to learn a new skill? Or will you become completely irrelevant? By not over-specializing, you leave yourself open to more opportunities. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll catch you all next time.